Okay, for the next stage in the uh, wedding album, I'm going to show you how I do the back piece, which is basically a piece of calico that I've cut to size. Um, and then I've taken lo lots of old clothes that have got lacy um, edges and sleeves and things like that on that are all real uh, sort of nice antiquey type uh, got a nice antiquey feel about them um, nice vintage feel so I'm going to take those and I'm going to stitch them onto my piece of calico the calico is the is the backing piece okay so I don't know how this is going to go I hope um, it's going to work okay. I've never sewn on camera before, but um, bear with me and uh, we'll see how it goes.
Okay, so I've put all my pieces together now. You've seen the making of the um, covers. I showed how I made the um, the fabric back. So basically, what I've done is just stick that them together like I did in my um, handmade journal video. Same kind of technique. Um, I've added some a nice bit of bling to the back. That's not going to be a bookmark because we're not really going to need a bookmark in this kind of book because it's a guest book. <clears throat> so I don't really think you're going to want a, um, a bookmark in there but you could put one in if you wanted to. Um, and then I've just added some um, double-sided satin ribbon that's the colour matching the wedding that this is for. I've just glued that in so that you've got a loose piece here because later on I want to tie um, a bow onto that but at the moment I want to leave the bow off um, while I'm still fiddling about with it. <coughs> Excuse me. So the next stage, now that that's done, is to sew the um, binding that I've made, this binding. Um, I'll need, I now need to sew that to the book block. And I've got the front page is actually going to be that page, but I put an extra page on the front just because, from experience, when I've been making books, sometimes you get a dirty mark on the front page or you um, might bend it, like this one's been bent a few times now. And I don't, I can't afford for that front page to get damaged because um, it's difficult to replace once it's sewn in. So I tend to now put um, a, a false piece in that I can just rip out when the book's all done. So I'm going to crack on and sew this together now. I'm going to be sewing it together with a matching blue ribbon. Could use ivory, which would match the book as well, but I'm going to stick to the blue um, ribbon. Thank you. 